Hi, I'm Phyllis from southernfrugal.com. Well, we got a bunch of tomatoes at the farmer's market yesterday, a whole bushel, and they're really good and ripe, so we're going to try to make sort of a copy of a V8. Just going to see how it goes. I don't remember all the ingredients that are in a V8, but I think we can come maybe somewhere close. All right, so we're going to start out. I'm going to go ahead and use some kale. And just break it up. Now the Vitamix is going to definitely pulverize all of this. Now I'm going to also add some arugula and some baby spinach. I just happen to have this so we'll just go ahead and put it in. Just a couple of little handfuls because I want to save this for a salad later. All right. So I'm going to also add in carrots and this is three medium carrots. And also, oops, about four stalks of, uh, oh, y'all couldn't see, sorry, about four stalks of celery. And that, this is kind of the center of the celery. And I know V8 has parsley in it, and I was going to get some parsley, but I forgot. So, and this is not quite eight things in there, but hopefully it'll work. All right, so now I've got my tomatoes. And these are nice, fully ripe, and they are vine ripened tomatoes. And look what I found in with the, the uh, red tomatoes. I found a yellow one. Now, some of them, because they're good and ripe, have, you know, where they set in the box. And so I'm going to cut that part off. And I'm not going to peel them either. And the Vitamix, excuse me, the Vitamix will also grind up the seeds. So I'm just going to quarter those. goes in, just slightly cutting off that bottom section. Yeah, I've been waiting to make this for a while. We just couldn't get to the farmer's market and I was really waiting until I found some tomatoes really cheap and that's exactly what happened this time. So, cram that down in there. Definitely want all the tomatoes in. Oops, that's got a little stem, dark colored stem in there. And I'd also cut that little end off. I don't know why, I just do. And we're going to add a little water to get it started. And I'm going to also add some ice a little bit later. Now I think this will keep just fine in the refrigerator, you know, for at least a day or two maybe. Alright, let me see if I can get that down the drain a little bit, down the garbage disposal. if I can get my lid on that and get that mashed down. I hope I don't have to use that little plunger type thing because I don't really like to use that. So hopefully I can add enough liquid to make it grind up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add water to it. Just go ahead and add a whole cup of water in there. And let's see what this thing will do. Give it a give it a try. I've never made this before, so all right, here we go.
going to give that a taste. Obviously, it's going to be green. I'm thinking I, I need to add more tomatoes. So we'll see if I've got enough room to do that. It's really, really thick. Oh, that is very good. All right, I'm going to uh, go ahead and get about, I'm going to see if I can get about three more tomatoes in that. So y'all hold on, we'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, it's super, super full. So I'm going to have to pour some of this out. And I'm going to add some ice cubes. Now, I did add about a tablespoon of sugar because the uh, tomatoes make it a little sour. So I'm going to pour a whole glass full of this out so that I can put the ice in. Actually, I think I need to pour two glassfuls out. because I did have to add a little tablespoon of sugar just to, you know, it was a little sour. All right. I can't tell what it tastes like. I mean, it does taste somewhat like V8. Doesn't look like V8, though. I think that uh, V8 has a lot more tomato in it. Of course, I put six tomatoes in it. I really did. But anyway, it's good, though. Very good, in fact. Mm. So me and Mr. Bucky are going to have a glass of this before we eat our casserole a little bit later on. All right, well, if y'all want to try it, there it is. I might have put too many greens in it, but after fixing all the green smoothies, I'm just used to putting a lot of greens in. So what I'm going to do is um, pour this in a plastic container and we'll be drinking along on it for a couple of days, really, because there's really nothing in there to turn dark, really, and especially since all those tomatoes are in. But it did grind up the seeds of the tomatoes, everything, the, uh, the skin of the tomato, I just washed them, cut off the top, you know, the bottom, put it in, and um, of course the celery definitely adds to it. Let me see if I can taste that. It's just good. I don't know what it tastes like, but it's good. But anyway, next time I guess I would need to use uh, a lot more tomato and a lot less green, but I actually like this one. All right, so we will see y'all next time.